good morning students good morning to all and last day we have started the 10th lessons the environmental economics and also we have studied about the pollutions and in the air pollutions then today just we will go to the next concept today just we will study about the water pollutions so i think you may have studied in your previous classes and in your lower classes it is very easy only but in these lessons but we will have to study about the relations to the water pollutions and the economic related when the water are going to polluted how the environment is going to pollute and because of that our economics also will be affected so the introduction of substances or energy into the marine environment result in deteriorating effect to the living resources so hazards to human health hindrance to the marine activities so whenever the whenever the way of the human activities how the water is going to pollute it is considered as a water pollution and the types of water pollutions in what are the types are there in this water pollutions first the surface water pollutions and the ground water pollutions and the microbiological pollutions and oxygen depletion pollutions so if you are thinking wherever the water are the symptoms of the water are there and if it is polluted by the human activities it is considered as a water polluter the surface water pollutions the surface water pollutions includes the natural water found on the earth surface like rivers lakes lagoons and oceans so hazardous substances coming into the contact with the surface water dissolving or mixing physically with the water can be called surface water pollutions wherever the waters are there on the surface of the earth and it is polluted it is called surface water pollutions next the ground water pollutions the ground water contamination occurs when man made products such as gas oil in oil and chemicals get into the ground water and if this water is polluted that is called ground water pollutions next the microbiological pollutions in many communicative around the world people drink untreated water sometimes there is natural pollution caused by microorganism like viruses and bacteria this natural pollution causes both aquatic and human illness so wherever the water is going to polluted by the virus or bacteria it is considered as a microbiological pollutions so this is also a very harmful effect to the aquatic animals and the humans also next to oxygen depletion pollutions when oxygen levels in the water are depleted relatively harmless aerobic and microorganism die and anaerobic microorganism begin into the right so in this water some of the oxygen level also have to mingled and if it is treated by some of the human activities or any of the activities so this is also one type of consider as a water pollution the causes for water pollution so normally we know as per our mind or whenever we are going to see in our area we can get many idea on many causes for the water pollution but even though some important reasons are there to polluting the water first one is discharge of sewage and waste water the sewage garbage and liquid waste of household agricultural runoff and effluents from factories are discharged into lakes and rivers even in our areas many of the sewages are mingled with the sea or the river and in any of the lag nearby our localities 
So this waste contain harmful chemicals and toxins which make the water poisonous for aquatic animals and plants. If this water also is going to for the prosperity going to make the prosperity of the plants and if you are eating any of the goods or any of the foods this is also will be harmfully affect our Next, the dumping of solid waste. The dumping of solid waste and litters in water bodies causes huge problems. So many of the industries and even in our panchayat and municipalities also will be dumping the solid waste nearby the river or on the river. So this is also one of the reasons to polluting the water. If you are seeing in our area, so we can easily see many of the individual persons also dumping the solid waste in our river or nearby the river. So it is also one of the causes to polluting the water. Next, discharge of industrial waste. So industrial waste contains the pollutants like asbestos, lead, mercury, grease oil and petrochemicals which are extremely harmful to both people and environment so wherever the industries are located just if you are going to see you could understand or you could see so many of the solid waste and the industrial waste also going to dump in the rivers and the lake only so this is also will be harmfully affect the human bodies and our environment also. Next, oil spill. So the sea water gets polluted due to oil spill from ships and tankers while traveling. So on last year also we could hear some of the news. One of the ship was broken and all the oil also will be spilled in this sea. So when it is doing like that, so many of the aquatic animals like a fish and some of the animals also will be harmfully affected. And we also never can to recover this oil from the seas. The spilled oil does not dissolve in water and forms a thick sludge polluting the water. So without any of the heavy machineries to dissolving this oil or recovering this oil it will not be dissolved with the water it will always being in this sea water and it will be affected the aquatic animals next to acid rain so acid rain is pollution of the water caused by air pollution already we have studied in this air pollution Whenever the air is going to get the polluted, so it will be created the acid rain. And the acid rain, the water of acid rain is also will be harmfully affected the people's. And when the acidic particles caused by air pollution in the atmosphere mix with the water vapor and it results in acid rain. Next, the global warming. Due to global warming, there is an increase in water temperature. As a result, aquatic plants and animals are affected. So because of the global warming, the earth also will be get very hot. And because of that, the water temperatures also will be increases. So some of the aquatic animals will be required the normal temperature of the water only. But because of the global warming, if the temperature of water is increased, these aquatic animals will never get the chance to living in the good water and the prescribed water. Next, eutrophications. So eutrophication is an increased level of nutrients in water bodies. This results in bloom of algae in water. So it also depletes the oxygen in water which negatively affect fish and other aquatic animals and populations.
so i think it is very easy and not only the seven point so what are the points you know the reasons for the water pollution you can write next the effects of water pollution if the water is polluted what are the effects will come whoever will get the affected by the water pollution means first one is death of aquatic animals the main problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on this water body what are the aquatic animals are depending on the water bodies all these animals also will going to die so dead fish crabs bats and the sea gulls dolphins and many other animals often wind up on the badger killed by pollutants in their habit next disruption of food chains the pollutions disrupts the natural food chains as well pollutants such as lead and cadmium are eaten by tiny animals so later these animals are consumed by fish and the food chain continues disrupted at all higher levels if any of the tata is eating some of the chemical items and these some of the fish also will eat the chemical items and this fish is also taken to the food of food for the human activities for the human beings and if you are eating this fish our health also will be affected so wherever the water polluted animal is going to affected so after that all the food chains also will be disrupted next is diseases the discharge of untreated and undertreated effluent contributes to severe ecological degradation so the because of this water pollution many of the diseases will affect us to only to the humans typhoid malaria and jaundice dengue and viral fever and worm infections also will be affected the human next the destruction of ecosystem the ecosystem can be severely destroyed by water pollution so many areas are now being affected by careless human pollution and this pollution is coming back to hurt human in many ways so we have to take some of the ready, remedial measures to control the water pollution so what are the remedial measures are there mean first the comprehensive water management plan so the government has to take the comprehensive water management plan next the construction of proper storm drains and the setting ponds so many of the government local bodies government have to taking the actions to dumping solid waste so that for that uh, the government has to take or uh, has to establish the separate place next to maintenance of drain line so if the drain main if there is no proper drain line so all the sewage will mingled with the air or water bodies only next to regulator monitoring of water and the waste water next to stringent actions towards illegal dumping of waste into the water bodies so if there is no actions for the people to dumping the waste bodies in the water bodies they will never stop next to the noise pollution the noise pollution is unwanted or excessive sound that can have deleterious effect on the human health and the environment quality so because of the unwanted and the excessive sound if the human and the environment is polluted it is considered as a noise pollution so noise pollution is commonly generated by many factors yes it also comes from the highway railway and the airplane traffic and from outdoor construction activities so the noise pollution is also classified as a three types one is the atmospheric noise and industrial noise and man made noise so atmospheric noise or static is caused by lightning discharges in thunderstorm and other natural electrical disturbances 
So because of the thunderstorm and the lightning, some of the humans and some of the plants also will be affected. This is called atmospheric noise. And next one is industrialist noise. The industrial noise refers to noise that is created in the factories. The sum of the sound becomes noise. It becomes unwanted. So if you are going to the heavy industries like ship building, iron and steel and the cement factories have long been associated with the noise. So wherever the noise is coming from the activities of industrialization, it is considered as a industrial noise. Next, man-made noise. The main sources of man-made noise pollution are ships, aircraft, seismic, explorations, marine constructions, drilling and motor boats and even some of the functions and the electrical items. Next, the causes of noise pollution. The poor urban planning. So improper urban planning will cause more nuisance among these city travelers. So poor urban planning means even in these urban areas, some of the people or some of the vehicles also will create the many noises. It is considered as poor urban planning. Next, the sounds from motor vehicles. The sounds from motor vehicles can cause temporarily hearing losses. Now, even if you are seeing in our roads, many of the youngsters boys are using the bike with the high nuisance sound or high polluted sounds. So this is also one of the reasons for the noise pollution. Next, the crackers. The enormous crackers are used during some occasions such as activities created a very loud or noise to the level of harming the public. So we all of them are celebrating the many festivals and nowadays without the crackers the festival is not thinking. But even though some of the crackers also will be issued the many noise polluted and because of the crackers the air also will be polluted. So sometimes they may even cause deafness to children and aged people. And because of that, some of the animals and the birds also will be harmfully affected. So as per one of the report, many of the birds also dying with the sound of crackers. Next, the factory machineries. The industrial noise caused by continuous operations of mills, machines and pneumatic drills in bearable nuisance to the workers. So if you are going to any of the industrials or any of the construction site, so we could hear the unwanted the noise. Okay, then what are the effects will come because of the noise pollution means? First one is hearing loss. So the chronic exposure to noise may cause noise induced hearing loss. So older people are exposed to significant occupational noise and thereby reduce the hearing sensitivity. So as we know, so the human also has able to hearing some of the particular noise only. But if the aged people or some of the people also will be lost their hearing capacity because of the noise pollution. Next, damage psychological and physiological health. So unwanted noise can damage the physiological and psychological health. For example, annoyance and aggregations, hypertension and high stress levels. So if you are living in nearby the railway stations and in the railway track, so always we will have, we can hear some of the railway sound. So because of that, our psychological or mental also will be affected. Next, detrimental effect on animals and aquatic life. So noise can have a detrimental effect on animals, increasing the risk of death. Because some of the 
pet animals like a cat and some of the little dog also cannot able to bearing the more noises mostly it will never bearing the sounds of crackers so many of the birds and uh, animals also will get crazy and it will be affect on the noise pollution next the effect on wildlife and aquatic animals so it creates hormone imbalances chronic stress panic and escape fever and influence so what are the remedial measures are there to control the noise pollution mean the use of noise barriers so the people must be use the noise barriers wherever we are going to the nearby the industries and the outdoor of our home so we must using the noise barriers and the traffic control so if we are having the good traffic control so we can protect them from the traffic sound and the regulating times for heavy vehicles nowadays all the times are available to moving or transferring one place to another one of the place in front of the are in center of the city so this is also one of the causes but if you are allotting some of the regular time to use the heavy vehicles it will improve next the regulations of loud speakers so the loud speakers also have to be regulated next the land pollution so the land pollution is defined as the degradation of land because of the disposal of waste on the land in any of the way any of the land is polluted that is called land pollution so the types of land pollution in whichever way the lands are going to polluted I mean first one of is the solid waste the solid waste includes all kinds of rubbish like paper plastic containers bottles cans food used to cause broken electronic goods municipal waste and hospital waste so because of these all type of the solid waste some of the earth is or land is going to polluted that is considered as a solid waste next the pesticides and fertilizers so many farming activities engage in the applications of fertilizers pesticides and insecticides for higher crop yield with polluted land nowadays many of the farmers even in the urban and the rural side farmers also use the many of the chemical fertilizers and the pesticides and many the insecticides so when we are using continuously on the land the land will lost their prosperity and the productivity also and not only that whatever crops are going to cultivate in that land it also will become as a poisonous next deforestation the humans depends on trees for many things including life so trees absorb carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen which is needed for life the forest helps the replenish soils and help retain nutrients being the washed up deforestation is led to land pollution so if the deforestations in many ways the deforestations are helping our nations but whenever the deforestations are being happened so it also will be created the land pollutions okay students i think it's enough so if you have any doubt in these pollutions the land pollution the air pollution and water pollution you can ask me and i am thinking it is very easy lessons if you are reading yourself you could understand so some of the word only you may not have understand but if you have any doubt please ask me thank you